Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Raju, and in today's video, we built a habitat for the warthogs. Now, I'm really proud of how this habitat turned out. I just wanted to fill that gap in between the Safari Ride Q exit area and behind the Meerkat habitat. And I, I'm, I'm really happy with how it turned out. I'm really, really like how it did. I might add some stuff here and there. I changed the colors actually of the rock wall that you see me placing right now change it to more like desert rock colors uh yeah i uh i'm probably going to change the shade, shade structure that you will see me build later on and there is actually some cool little like star of the show in this habitat and there will be in the next th three or four habitats that i already have planned out and some of them I already have recorded i just haven't been uploading i haven't felt like it but now I kind of do and I'm wanting to post but I just have to give you all a huge thank you because before this my uh, most viewed video was 59 views on the Asian Arowana video on my safari ride video there is over 270 views 274 to be exact that is the most views I've ever had on a video I don't know how you guys have done it it is I'm just so happy like it's been what three weeks like since that video was posted or something yeah three weeks ago I posted that video and it's at 274 views I can only imagine what it'll be at in a few months and I'm just hoping if I keep up this grind y'all keep watching and yeah but hey if y'all want to see a uh, franchise zoo I promise if I get 10 likes on this video 10 likes I will start a franchise zoo series and y'all can even choose like what theme area it is, but yeah, I just I've been wanting to do a franchise, but I don't know if that's something y'all want to see. So ten likes on the video, and I'll do it. Um, there is a little surprise with one of the animals in here that you don't see until the real time part. But yeah, thank you guys for listening to me ramble, and I try to keep these short because I know you probably want to just see the end or watch the. Uh, build with the music but thank you guys for watching and all the support recently i can't thank you guys enough thank you for watching and if you did enjoy the video just you know tell other people about it and just that would be awesome thank you guys so much see you in the real time part bye guys
Hey guys, welcome to the real time part of the Warthog Habitat. I'm really happy with how this turned out. It's one of the smaller habitats of this zoo. But in my opinion, it looks really good. And I, there's a lot of details that I added that I don't usually use. I started using more of the faux rocks and the trunks. And like this little mound you'll see in the Aardvark Habitat, which is after this. And I got some stuff planned out, but yeah, I really like the little water. It's shallow. I like this. I don't know about the shade structure. I might change it. But I really like this wall. And this wall was inspired by Simply Savannah's Africa Pack. She built something similar to this. And I really liked it. So I decided that I would build something like it. I might add my own fence pack. I got a little fence thing going on over. Let's try not to show too much. Try not to show too much. You know. I don't know where it is actually. Oh, it might be and I built an entrance but that doesn't need a video because I'm still not done with it so yeah I really like how this turned out though I used the archer to make sure everything was you guys could see over it and yeah but the main star of the show let's see if we can find it it's right there the albino warthog now this thing I was watching a stream Rudy Rain Campbell stream and it I was like, you know, I really want an albino aardvark. So I'm going to go try to get an aardvark. Look how pretty it is. So then it, I spent like an hour buying and selling out of the trade center, and I got an aardvark. Then I was like, well, now I want a warthog because I just want the zoo to have some albinos because, like, I love albinos, and I think it'll be cool for the zoo to have them. So then I got a warthog. Like, the warthog took probably, like, ten minutes. And then I was like, well, what about a Nile monitor? Which, that'll be, actually, that'll be after the Aardvark, uh, video. But, I did now monitor, and then I was like, well, what about a ring-tailed lemur? Because I was looking at all the albinos and thinking, what are some African region albinos that I could get? And so I decided that the ring-tailed lemur would be a very cool one, but, because I'd never seen it. So I, it took me three days. This was probably three hours of, eh, it wasn't a lot of time, but it, it took me three days, probably, I probably spent two hours each day, so probably six hours, getting, to get a ring-tailed lemur, and I finally got it, and so that habitat will be after the Nile Monitor one, and then over there, I don't know if y'all can see, I'll try to give you a little sneak peek, over there, pause the video if you need to is the one that'll be like the really cool star of the show that I think will be the best habitat that I've built so far. I need to add a back to this. But yeah, I'm really happy with how it turned out. I might make custom billboards, I don't know. It's just a lot more difficult. But yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe, like the video, comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye guys.